Welcome to the city, Mastermind City. Hi, I'm Faye Chapel, And I'm Stacey Maynard. Join us for a vibrant, inspiring, and uplifting master talk as we focus on how you can make a lasting impact on a global scale. Because the truth is, we're here because we want you to win. So are you ready to surround yourself with success because you're in the right place? Welcome to the city. Well, I woke up this morning with an immense, immense amount of gratitude for my voice activated Alexa. (laughs) (laughs) Why would Alexa tell you to wake up? Well, not only did Alexa tell me to wake up, which I which was very good. But last night, you know, when you get in bed and you're just like, you're ridiculously comfortable and it's like, you don't want to move. And then you realize you forgot to set your alarm. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, I have to get up. I have to reach my phone. And I'm like, oh, I don't. So I'm very happy. So it's was like, wake me up at this time. And then this morning I was like, didn't want to wake up, didn't want to wake up, didn't want to move. And the alarm went off. And uh, I'm like, oh, I just snooze. All of, and I was like, I love my, I just love, I just, I have so much gratitude for her today. I, know, I love Alexa too. She rocks. So does Siri. But Siri, you have to go pick up. (laughs) Alexa's just sitting there. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) So I have an immense amount of gratitude for that today. So I'm very, very happy. Good. (laughs) What's what's going on? on. What's on the top of your list today? Well, I think the top of my list today is the word rejigging. Ah, so I should have played played that song, you know, get jiggy with it. That would have been a good one. (laughs) That would have been perfect. (laughs) See, the problem is, is we don't talk ahead of time. (laughs) So I forgot about that song. Get jiggy with it. I'm going to play that next time. (laughs) So I think we've used the word rejigging approximately a billion times over the past couple of weeks. Yeah. (laughs) So I was actually looking back and we've been... I'm just trying to think of how long we've been working on our community, probably for a couple of months. We've been setting everything up. It's a lot of work. A lot of work. Not for the faint of heart. Not for the faint of heart, but absolutely doable. Um, But I think the biggest challenge was that when you first have an idea, and this kind of, you know, goes into a bigger thing. When you first have an idea, you think it makes sense in your brain. Yes. And then you develop the idea and we put it all together and we both knew we were both on the same page. We're good. We're going through, we're going through, we're going through. And this is why public service announcement to anybody who has a business, anybody launching anything, (laughs) anybody always do a beta. Yes. (laughs) Always do testing, always bring in people, always give it to them for free, asking Mm -hmm. for feedback uh, because now we, we kind of put it together with our own understanding Right. And then we kind of soft launched mm-hmm. a lot of feedback. And then over the past week and a bit, we're like, rejig, we need to rejig this. Yeah. We need to rejig that all good. I mean, the, the original yeah. that we had, everything was all good, but it's like, we need to rejig this. We need to read. I just feel like we're saying we just need to just slight yeah. changes, like just slight yeah. updates along the to way. Make it, to make it easier to understand. Yeah. So we've rejigged, we've rejigged, we've rejigged. Well, now we're rocking. So, so important. <laughs> uh, so yes, absolutely. Roger that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just can't. Yeah. So I think we've rejigged things a few times. Uh, but again, always go back to your beta group. Always right. ask them for <laughs> feedback. And that's what we've done. Right. And now I feel like literally um, yesterday, I think was my last rejigging. So again, I've used yeah. the word rejigging, rejig, rejig, yeah. rejig. But you need to make sure before you do sort of an official launch, even if it delays the launch. Yes. Because I think it's important to make sure. Yeah. We always, we have no problem delaying things um, to make sure they're right for our community, for the people that want, you know, to follow us or to be part of our group. Yeah, absolutely. You need to, I just think it's better to uh, test out a smaller group. And then, of course, make sure everything's working before you kind of put it out uh, to the masses. So we've rejigged things a few times. And in the beginning, it you kind of have this feeling of, Ugh, yeah. oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, but we thought it was so good. Like we have yeah, we we change good. every page, every page. But we were done. <laughs> <laughs> and then the, oh, we tribute And then it was, okay, we think we're good. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you. Again, immense gratitude for the people who joined our community early. 
for the people who gave us that feedback. Um, we were able to, again, rejig, which is my word of the month, I word think. Of the day. Yeah. Word of the day. <laughs> <laughs> rejigged it. We went back to them again. You think it's good. And then you're like, well, this doesn't really, cause when people start asking too many questions, you realize that it's not clear. So you need to right. rejig, rejig, rejig. So we've rejigged a few times. <laughs> yeah. And I think for a lot of, a lot of people that are out there and say, well, I don't have a, you know, a beta test group and I don't have anything. Think about just even the simple people that you're working with. I mean, for us, um, Spencer, who does our social media, when she comes back and asks us, what does this mean? A light bulb has to go off, right? Yeah, you have exactly. to go, oh, if it's not clear to her who does our work, <laughs> <laughs> then there's a problem. Then there's a problem. So well, sometimes think, you're too close to the situation. You're too absolutely. close to your program. You're too close to your business. You're too close to your services. And you understand everything because it's all in your head. Right. So the knowledge, the knowledge that you have in your head mixed with the information that's out there on a website or a landing page or whatever makes sense. The right. problem is, is that the people who are sending them don't have the knowledge in your head. No. <laughs> so it's not, and it's I, not as clear. And it was at the point where I was a little bit confused when, when she asked the question, I was confused explaining it to her. And that's when it was like, okay, let's, let's knock this down and break it down to very simple. And then when we did, and you spoke with somebody in our group, they loved it, right? They were like, oh, this, now I get it. This oh, makes sense. yeah. It was like, it was like literally this, oh, it's like, yeah. okay, so now I know how to speak to it. Now I know how to, what questions and now, like, yeah, she, like literally she said, everything is so clear to me now. And it was yeah. like, it, it's kind of a cliche phrase, but it, it was, it was perfect right. because she got it, which means that you didn't have to have the knowledge that was in our head um, in order to build it. So sometimes I think when you're, even if you don't feel like you have a community, build one. Yeah. Start literally by saying, you're our beta group. We're yeah. going to bring you in for free. It's free, free, free. Please come in and join for free. Yeah. And then ask them for their feedback. Ask them for their opinion. Um, this is what we're thinking. What do you think? Or have them understand that they're coming in for a month to test everything out. Right. I love doing that. Yeah, me too. We do all the betas that anyone asks us. We're always pick me, pick me. We're always first in line. Absolutely. We don't mind all the hiccups. Um, it's the same reason why we we support all the software developers on AppSumo and that because you know they they are still learning their way and they're going to give you a deal because they're mm -hmm. learning. I mean, we invited everyone to our master first mastermind dinner for free because we wanted to understand if we were using the right mechanism to actually run it, which was great. Um, and then we, uh, which we kept, but then some other ways we de delivered our, um, our information, we changed. And yeah, so exactly. it wasn't just one thing. It wasn't just what the wording in a landing page was. It was what software we were using, how we were delivering it, everything. And the good news, I mean, if you're on your own, it's a little challenging, right? If you're on your own, so you need to at least partner up with somebody who's going to help you walk you through it. Know somebody who's done it. It doesn't have to be a friend. You can reach out to somebody who's already doing it, right? And saying, well, could I pick your brain for an hour? Most people say yes, Absolutely. right? Most people don't Absolutely. say yes. And with Stacy and I, it's a little bit easier because there's two of us, right? And so we can bounce ideas off each other. We both understand tech, which helps, <laughs> Because it's harder when um, when you when somebody doesn't, but we both have our our different strengths, right? So so it really works out well for us. But you really need somebody else to be able to say, "Let me just walk you through this." What do Absolutely. You think? But I also think um, before you kind of go too far down um, the road, it's also understanding the software that you're using because in the beginning of building something, you have this much knowledge. Yeah. But as you start to build, you learn more and I go, oh, wait a minute, I could have done that differently. Or wait a minute, mm -hmm. oh, this is how, you know, you need kind of think over here, I would like to be able to do this. Yeah. The platform does not enable you to do it the way you thought. So you kind of give up on the idea and you say, right. okay, well, then we'll completely change the way that we're doing things. And then you're kind of over here later in learning where you know this much and almost yeah. all of it. And you go, oh, wait a minute. Let me yeah. go back to this concept. I can actually do things the way I wanted to with this slight rejig. Hack. It's a little hack. It's a little hack. Right. And we like and to hack other people's software. Exactly. It's so true. 
So understanding that literally like it's like light bulbs go off with original ideas, which is yeah. fantastic. And you realize you can execute it the way you kind of originally thought. So yeah. it's been a lot of learning. A lot of learning, but it's really it's it's cool it's when so, you can do it because you know we were stuck at a few spots and we were like, Well, we really wanted to do this. So, you know, and we never let it go, right? Because you know, the first thing was no, it doesn't do it. And we're like, Well, hang on a second. <laughs> It's going to be a way. There's always a way. That's the other public service announcement for today. There's always a way. There's always, always a, way. a workaround. There's always a way to to make things happen when you originally go to dive into a program. And, and even if the program developers themselves say no. Right. Ah, but you can. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And that really is, I mean, it's it's a public service announcement for you guys, by the way. Make sure if you're um, if you are <laughs> the theme of today, rejigging a public service announcement, <laughs> which is gonna really work into what I'm talking about. Um, <laughs> so no, but it is. I think we forget as if you're an entrepreneur or even if you're in the corporate business world, we um, sometimes have a tendency of talking to ourselves, right? Especially in corporate, more than entrepreneurship, to be honest, because in the corporate world, and I was there for 25 years, um, you have a tendency of doing corporate speak throughout your organization and nobody else outside your organization knows what you're talking about, right? At all, ever. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you really need to go outside and say, does this make sense? Because sometimes, um, again, you know, once you just get one person's opinion that's on the outside, you're like, oh, I didn't even think about that, right? Well, and it's so, like a client that I was working with this week. She had her whole plan built, um, her programs, how she was positioning it. And all I asked her was one question and and she went, oh, yeah, I don't like, there was just a, a dot that wasn't connected. Yeah, And I was like, I don't understand how to get from here to here. And, and I don't really understand what that means. And then she's like, okay, again, the knowledge that's out there mixed with the knowledge in your head yeah. makes for a, a fantastic idea. Yeah. And I think, um, I think that, and the best thing for what I can, if you guys are, if you're, most people are stuck at the same pro, um, point where they don't really understand where the disconnect is between them and the client, right? Them and your client, you, you have that disconnect of what your service is, what your offer is and, and do they understand? And that's a huge one. And my biggest advice is, and the one that I think we learn the best from, better than even beta testers, is we go back to our social media marketing person. And because she's always on us saying, well, like, how can you explain that in one sentence? Because her, she doesn't care about what we're talking about. She just, in her brain, she's like, how do I put that on a social uh, media feed? Or how do I put that on a marketing slide and make people understand? So it forces us to go, oh, how do we put that in a bite? So right. um, if you, you don't have to have a social media person, what you can do is simply say, if I'm going to post my idea, how do I post it so that when somebody looks at that one picture, that one slide with only a sentence on it, will they understand what I do? And that's the yeah. easiest way for, um, you know, if you don't want to do beta, if you don't want to do all this stuff, you just want to test your idea, not your whole, you know, your whole software program concept. But if you just want to test your idea, put it out there and see if yeah. people understand. Because we are constantly, constantly, um, um, streamlining it streamlining it, rejigging streamlining it making sure, <laughs> making sure we see, we're gonna play that today you know i got you know i forgot to tell you stacy um we have to start we have to start just singing again no no playing the songs we just have to sing them because i think youtube like blocked one of our one of our hot topics yeah. <laughs> so we have to cut that out. no song for you <laughs> no song for you so we have but to I think I had, um, so one of our i, I when i girl that I was speaking with just about different um, things that we're doing, put it really well. She's like, shifting gears, ambitious ideas, followed by aha moments, sometimes head banging against the desk, then fixing, simplifying, learning and progressing. But it'd be pretty boring otherwise. And I'm like, that's exactly it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it, but you know, here's the thing, if you rejig five or six times, and people don't get it, it's not a good idea. Okay. Right. And and that was the part. And I think what I loved about our process was the fact that we were rejigging small things. 
So we're over, like everything was really good. Everyone loved everything. Yeah. Super amazing feedback in regards to the community and how it's laid out and the look and the feel and the, the sense of connection and collaboration and like everyone loves. So it was just for us, it was minor things, right? But those small things made a big difference. Yeah. So that was the huge, um, that was the huge learning instead of having, so you're right. Like if you're rejigging your entire plan and rejigging everything five or six times, no, not a good thing. If you have to do minor tweaks in regards to be able, you know, just to be able to simply communicate that through social media posts, et cetera, that's different. Right. And that's kind of where we were at, which was, which was great. So the minor rejigging was good. So our overall concept was good, but we just had to rejig some stuff. So yes, I've used the word rejig a thousand times. (laughs) <laughs> which which fails right into my discussion when I'm going to talk about hair. <laughs> You've rejigged your hair. <laughs> <laughs> so um, this Go. is kind of interesting because it's the same kind of topic. But so a couple of weeks ago, we talked about middle parts versus side parts. Remember, and all the and all the little kids who said skinny jeans and and side and parts were-, were done, and you know, and it did it. It wasn't um, me thinking, oh, I have to do a middle part. Oh, I have to do this. What it was, was um, thinking about why sometimes you do something and why it is, um, why you just stick with it, right? So what I did that that next day was, remember, you, I, if you guys are watching Hot Topics, I parted my hair in the middle and I said, okay, what do you think, right? And um, so it was just kind of humorous and funny for me. And um, some people were like, I love it. Some people were like, uh, I like it the other way, which is, you know, great because you always yep. get feedback. But here's the thing that came out of it. You can see is my, is it center? Is it middle? I don't know. It's kind of in between, right? <laughs> here's, here's the thing. I stopped fighting with it. And that's what I learned when I did it. I hmm. used to fight with my hair because I used to always side part it and it would take a lot of time and blah, blah, blah. I don't have great hair. It's pretty thin and stuff. And, but um, I stopped fighting with it. So when I got up in the morning and this is what my, the girl does my hair. She said, just let it go where it wants to go. Okay. And so let I let it go. go. What do you mean let it go? Where, where it wants to go. So what I do don't, <laughs> I dry my hair, I brush it wherever it ends up. That's where it parts for the day. And, and the interesting thing, and you guys are going, why am I talking about hair? Because I realized that that's the biggest problem or challenge. And when we thought about rejigging, rejigging, that's the biggest problem most of my clients Um, as coaching clients have, which is they're trying to force themselves to be something and it's not really them, right? So it takes so much work to be this other person. It takes so much work to be who they think they're going to supposed to be, or their program is what they think people want. And when you realize how much easier it is to just let go, which was the song we were supposed to play. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> not Mick Jagger. <laughs> First it was Ooh, like, oh, and then it was, and then it was Lady Gaga. <laughs> then it was oh, anyway. So, but what was what's interesting is it is in all of this is having to come back to that realization. So for the last you know week or so, I've just been letting my hair go where, and I never think about it all day. Never happened before, ever in oh. years and years and years because oh. I used to worry <laughs> about it corporately because I wanted to make sure it looked right corporately. And so all these these years, I've been always playing with it all day long. And now I don't think about it all day. And I don't care because it's easy now. So here's the thing. People asked us about um, why we started the community, because we have a very successful, we both have successful um, services. We have a great program called Global Impact Accelerator, and that's where we were going to focus on, right? We yep. were only going to worry about our global impact and the other one that's coming out soon. But um, we both wanted, we we both realized that we love doing lives. We love the community. We love to learn new things. We like to talk to interesting people. And we didn't like how we were forced right? In our Facebook groups and stuff, we were forced to do our work that way because we thought that that's what we had to do. And both of us, Stacey and I, you know, you can tell when we don't like to do something. (laughs) We don't do it. (laughs) We don't do it. And we're kind of (laughs) miserable. Yes. It was like, I felt icky. It was like, I would go over and, and I love all social media doing it for many, many years, but it was just like, ugh. Exactly. Like it did. 
<laughs> and so this community where we we started a mastermind dinner and a wine club and life impact like tonight we're talking about laughter yoga and meditation like how so excited that? you're gonna learn you're gonna get better it's gonna help your business but it's like something that we want to do so here's the thing remember i said don't fight we're we stop fighting we're <laughs> doing what we want to do but it we actually we probably work more hours right yeah, but it doesn't feel like we're working more hours because it's more fun because we're letting go of what we think we're supposed to be working and focusing on. So if you're working hardcore three hours a day on something that you don't really like to do, that is way harder than working eight hours on something that you're having fun with, right? And the interesting piece for that, thank you, um, Linda, just saying that our community rocks. Um, <laughs> but I think the, it, it comes through in our vibe. It comes through in how we present ourselves. And what we're realizing was in the community where we felt a little bit forced before, our energy was different where, you know, yeah. it was lower. It just, we weren't as into it. No. And now we're in a place where we actually are like, Oh, this is, this is great. We're happy. We're excited. We love yeah. sharing information. And we found a fantastic place in which to do that and bring people together and, you know, they can collaborate. So again, the feedback that we're getting, I love because it's like, yeah. I love you guys. I love the community that you've built um, all of this stuff. And it really feels like, I don't even know what word she used. Um, yeah, just feeling that uh, that feeling of connection and right. true community, which I love. So because that was the whole point. Right. Right. Whereas before we couldn't we couldn't build that. So it's interesting as soon as you rejig or shift gears or whatever word you want to use or let it go the way it's supposed to. Yeah. And it's kind of like why we're doing hot topics. I mean, Stacy and I, every time we would start talking before our lives and that, and people were guessing it always like, well, this part, we'd rather listen to this. <laughs> so, so we Isn't decided, funny? I, I forgot about that. <laughs> so we were like, okay, we'll just put our before lives into hot topics and we'll talk about what we think can make a difference. So, I mean, like today, if you, you know, you probably, if you're watching, you probably heard your, or saw yourself when Stacy was like, Hey, we got to rejig. Hey, it's not that clear. You know, you might've saw yourself when I said, you know, are you really fighting who you are or are you really doing what you want to do? And that is going to make a much bigger impact than um, other things. Right. So you have to just embrace that. Okay. This isn't a big deal. Like we come on, we're good. I'm in a jean jacket today. <laughs> oh, I love, let me just hold up. I want to see the pins that yeah. are on your jacket. See my pins guys. Oh, so nice. It's a, a artist, Julie Campbell, and she, um, you can grab her stuff. It's Jushmu, J-U-S-H-M-U, Jushmu.com. She's on Etsy and on Shopify, I think too. Anyway, local artist. She does these cool little pins. I like to throw them all over my jackets. I love and that. Aren't they great? And they're all different. And, you know, sometimes you're in a mood and they're, it's the perfect pin. But like I said, it's just like, just hang out and do, you know, wear what you want, do what you want. I mean, don't get me wrong. There is a time and place. So if you're going to go to the board of directors meeting, you should probably dress up a little bit, right? And make sure you comb your hair. Um, <laughs> like we always like to look presentable, but we also want you to not, um, not fight who you are, right? So there's yes. a difference. There's a there's a bit of a line there, but um, if you have been one of those people who um, are not have been doing the same thing for a year and you're not getting any traction on your business, then you're probably fighting it. You're probably doing something that isn't um, the right thing for you, or that you haven't. Um, you haven't really done the right way that's in tune with who you are. So if you don't have a coach or you don't have um, a mentor, or you don't have somebody that can give you advice, join a community, ask for help, ask people to, to say, Hey, does, would you hire me? Would you buy my program? Would you uh, <clears throat> buy my service? Like what is it that's holding um, you, the business back from you? And that way you'll actually be able to, to start enjoying your time just like we do.
Thanks for joining us here in Mastermind City, but you don't have to say goodbye because there's other ways to join us. We would love to have you as part of our community. So join us in mastermindcitycommunity.com so we can hang out together.